just another stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. So on today's video, I'm going to talk about things that I tend to buy for groceries to eat healthier and the things that I'm eating on my journey to lose weight. And I'm hoping some of this may help you. I know some of y'all may be doing different, you know, may be doing or going to do a different plan than what I do. I typically kind of do a cross between Weight Watchers, eating kind of well balanced with the food exchanges with the food pyramid. And of course, you know, I follow a diabetic diet. I eat low sodium. I'm not supposed to have more than 2,000 milligrams of sodium a day. And really it adds up fast and sodium is hidden in a lot of foods. And I, I may have to do multiple videos on this subject because I don't want to make the videos too long at a time. And I'm kind of going over some of my pickup orders. To share with you things that I, I, I've been buying to eat healthier. And I mostly do my shopping at Walmart. We don't have a lot of grocery stores in my area. It's basically Walmart, Super One, and Champagne's. And Walmart ha is the biggest, has the most variety, and typically has the best prices. Uh, now sometimes the other stores do have a good sale on something and that's usually when it's best to hit them, you know, go to them is for sale items. So like I said, most of my groceries and what I'm going to be talking about is from Walmart. <laughs> um, one thing that I tend to like cook with is olive oil. You, you want to use a healthy oil. I know like some people will use coconut oil. Um, but usually I either use the regular olive oil or the extra virgin olive oil. And I get the great value brand from Walmart. Um, another thing that I'll tend to get as a snack, and I like to cook with this too, is celery. Um, and that's one thing like vegetables, when you can put them in a dish that, that helps give you extra fiber, you know, it helps fill you up and you get your veggies in. Cause I know like I usually add like onions and, and bell peppers to like basically everything I cook. Um, butternut squash, I love. And with butternut squash, I tend to get the frozen diced butternut squash in the frozen food section. And like you can either put it like I have this electric oven that I tend to use a lot. Or you can put it in like your air fryer or your oven. And usually I season stuff with like onion powder, garlic powder. And a little bit of cayenne. I don't add salt because like I said I'm on a low sodium diet. Well actually I don't like that word diet because I don't know it's like that stigma with the word diet and it, it comes off like oh you're on a diet you can't have this you can't have that and I just, I don't like that. This, this should be lifestyle changes. You know, this is something you should do long term. Because 
even after you know you get to your goal weight you still have to watch what you, you eat you can't go back to eating like how you used to um you know or you could buy like the fresh butternut squash and cut it up a lot of times like i like getting the frozen because it stays good longer and you know you just stick it in your freezer and you don't have to worry about it going bad um another thing too like i you know my last grocery shopping i got some red onions um like sometimes i'll put it in salads or if i make like a hamburger um, I also got some zucchini, same type thing. I like either baking it, putting in the electric oven or an air fryer. Ooh, and it's good. Cucumbers is another thing that I love. Um, and cucumbers is something that really you can eat pretty much as much as you want to. It's usually, you know, like programs I follow you know, it's always been a free food. And like sometimes I'll put a little salad dressing on it or now I used to make my salad dressings a lot where I could really control everything that was in it. Um, but another thing that I do sometimes is, you know, put vinegar like um red vinegar you know and then eggplant is another thing same type thing you know electric oven air fryer oven and when it comes to meats you want to look for like lean cut meats like whenever i get a roast i get like a beef roast and I try to find the leaner ones. Um, or if I get like a, a pork roast. I Like I don't like pork roast in general because it, they're so fatty. But I get like the pork loin ones. Or if I get like pork chops, I get the pork loin chops. Which is the leaner cuts of meat. You know, and like fruits. I love me some fruit like I got some you know I got me a red grapefruit I've been craving grapefruit you know some clemen clementines or like mandarins grapes um and that's another thing too because usually it is recommended that you get some fruit servings in and you know fruits do are healthy for you and there's benefits to eating fruits and and like I said and that's also something that you can use as a snack instead of going to foods that aren't healthy for you you know like a candy bar you know like veggies and fruits really are helpful when it comes to, you know, the munchies and not overeating. Um, let's see. And like with meat, like I, I purchased some beef lean stew meat. And some other fruits I got was blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. And I love putting fruits in salads. Oh my, that is like your best salad because recently and actually we're having this today again too <laughs> I love this type of salad where you know you take like some form of lettuce I usually use like the spring the spring uh, mix with the different leafy greens and stuff and sometimes they kind of have the purple <laughs> leafy things in there um and then some grilled chicken, you know, cook it in, in the electric oven. 
Um, I usually season it, season with onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, um, cut up some red onions, you know, add, add some like blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, based on, you know, which berries I have at the time, and then use a vinaig vinaigrette salad dressing. Oh my, that is just so good. And you usually for sweetener, I use stevia. I get the great value. Value stevia in the bag. Where, you know, it's it's not in the packets. You know, it's kind of like how sugar is in a bag, but it's stevia. That's what I use. And then like tortillas for like maybe tacos or fajitas. I get the whole wheat low carb tortillas. And let me see if I can see better the brand. It's called Latoya Factory. And it's the four net carb whole wheat carb cutting. And really like when you eat like carbs, you really want to go to like whole wheat, whole grains and watch your serving. And if you're like me and you have diabetes, you got to be careful with how much you eat in a day. So I got to really watch like sugar content and that I don't eat too many carbs. Okay, let me get back to where I was on my list. Because I clicked on it. I have to go all the way back to get back to where I was. Okay, and like for salad dressings, I tend to buy the Skinny Girl. And they have some really good flavors. Like I love the sugar-free raspberry vinaigrette. Now the downfall is they do have the sodium so I got to be careful how much I use that's where a lot of times I prefer really to make my own salad dressings but I haven't I haven't been up to doing as much as I used to do in the kitchen with making stuff like that so uh, oops Frank just opened the screen door sorry about that and another thing that I get too for tacos, which now this, I do have some concerns about it, but what I like about this, it's the Taco Bell crunchy taco shells. It has no sodium. And that's where I tend to gravitate to getting those because it doesn't have the sodium where like, like the whole wheat soft ones it does have have sodium and like I said like I gotta kind of be careful you know because I have to pay attention what I eat with sodium that I don't eat too much sodium but usually usually I can manage and stay you know and be able to stay under um cooking spray is a good idea to have and like I said, with like the whole whole grains, well, we tend to get the great value natural instant whole grain brown rice. When we, you know, so, so when we have rice, another thing that you can do too, is that sometimes, you know, you can use vegetables as rice. You know, you can, you can either like kind of do it yourself, but it's a lot of work. I've done it before or you can buy it in the grocery store in the frozen good area but they're pricey okay and then I like buying some of the frozen berries like blackberries strawberries blueberries and like especially blueberries I tend to like to put them in my yogurt for breakfast in the morning and the frozen ones stay good longer 
and like the strawberries I got it's the sliced strawberries and you want to make sure you're getting the frozen products that have no sugar added because I know especially strawberries some of them will have like the sugar added to it and the frozen goods so make sure and I get the great value brand <laughs> I get a lot of stuff great value brand and like I said earlier I like to add like onion and and bell peppers to most things that I cook so a lot of times I get the frozen seasoning blend with that and like like I got the pick sweet one sometimes I get the great value one and a lot of times it also has celery in it and like especially being from Louisiana we like our onions peppers garlic and uh, <laughs> celery and then I did get a bag of frozen bananas and if you've never had bananas frozen oh my it is so good then I got some sugar-free coffee creamers usually I have a cup of coffee in the morning every now and then two um, now in the colder months I am more prone to two cups then whenever I get milk I tend to get the great value unsweetened vanilla almond milk there's a couple of reasons why I go for the almond milk like that and the unsweetened. One, it has less calories than reg you know regular milk and even like your lower fat milks, you know, like your fat free milk. It still has less calories and it stays good a lot longer than milk does. Because I'm always bad for milk go like well, it's with Frank it's not such an issue, but but like whenever I was living on my own, milk tended to go bad on me when I bought milk. So I usually got the almond milk because because of that reason too. And then beef and chicken broth. And I get the unsalted broth because regular broth is extremely high in sodium and you can either get like I know like Swanson has the no salt added and great value has it or you can make your own broth without the salt but that's also a lot of work but, like I said, I go with the unsalted. And usually when it comes to sodium, if you have to watch your sodium, you want to look for labels that say no salt added. Because when you see products that say low sodium, that is mo the most deceiving thing on a food la label. Because usually... It's something that the original product is extremely high in sodium, like soy sauce or soups. And all it means is it's a little less sodium than the original, but it's still very high in sodium. So low sodium is not what you want to look for on a label if you're watching that. Okay, now, now cheese, normally with cheese I cut back because cheese tends to have more sodium in it. So, I, like I said, I got to be careful with the sodium. Now, the most friendly cheese for sodium is Swiss. And normally, like, I'll tend to get the sliced Swiss cheese, the thin slices, and like I'll put that on if I eat like a sandwich of any sorts. And like I said, vinegar is another thing I like handy where I get like the red wine vinegar. And vinegar 
like if you're watching your sodium vinegar basically tricks your taste buds where you don't miss that sodium as much and this is what I tend to eat for breakfast because I'm not a real big breakfast person and I'm bad for skipping breakfast and Frank fusses at me for this um but I like yogurt and now I used to get like the the great value that was like friendly on Weight Watchers but I started noticing that that one does have sugar and there's yogurts that are sugar free so the sugar free yogurt that I found was the Oko, Oko's triple zero sugar free non fat yogurt and it also has like 15 grams of protein and that's one thing like the newer versions of Weight Watchers they push eating you know protein more so that's what I tend to go go towards for breakfast and then another meat that I tend to get is the 90 93% lean ground beef okay Frank just opened the screen door again <laughs> sorry for that noise okay so back to what I was saying you know you you really want to get the lean and that's like the leanest I can find ground beef um I would get ground turkey but Frank really isn't fond of ground turkey so sometimes I gotta find things that you know because you know we eat the same meals typically so this kind of works best for us but like say you do use the fattier ground beef what you do is you drain the fat off of it and you rinse it and that will help with the extra fat and another thing i like too is balsamic vinegar like sometimes like if you've ever had that like sometimes like a roast you know where you, you 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 cook it balsamic or chicken oh my that is good and sometimes I do like dipping my cucumbers in balsamic vinegar and then like I said I have like the market side classic iceberg salad bag and then I have the market side market side spring mix salad blend which has like the spinach and other leafy greens then here's a skinny girl balsamic vinaigrette and one thing especially like if you have a harder time drinking water or you just kind of want something like this is more the case of me sometimes I I want something other than just plain water well they have the sugar-free drink mixes and that's something like usually I'll get a water bottle, you know, I'll buy water bottles and I'll put that drink mix, you know, you know, the single drink mix thing, the sugar free, put that in my water, shake that bottle. Or like a lot of times too, I like to put my, my water in the freezer to let it kind of get a little icy, but not frozen solid. Oh, that is so good like right now I'm really on the kick with the raspberry lemonade one and like great value has you know it's kind of like crystal light basically but it's cheaper than crystal light um and sometimes too I would take like water some ice a sugar-free drink mix put it in the blender kind of like a slushy and like they have like the sugar-free A and W ones. Oh, that is good. All right. Then I also like to get the Great Value frozen pepper and onion blend. Kind of like the strips. Like that's good for like fajitas or stir fries. And then like I said, bottles of water. 
And drinking water is very important to losing weight. It's recommended that you drink at least 64 ounces of water a day, at least. So make sure you get your water in. Okay, and there's my Swiss cheese that I mentioned earlier. And then I got some of the sugar-free Italian salad dressing. Um, then I got the great value whole wheat in the spaghetti and the linguine noodles. And I also got, you know, the whole wheat elbows too. And actually that's one thing that we had yesterday because I found like this hamburger helper type healthy recipe, which I'm probably going to be shit. Um, well, this will probably post after my, my live Saturday, but I'm probably going to share that recipe on, on my live that just passed on Saturday. Um, then of course coffee. And I think I'm going to wrap things up here because I'm almost at 30 minutes recording and I don't want to make things too long. But I will be doing future videos talking about more things that I buy from my, my, um, <laughs> my pickup orders from Walmart. <laughs> But um, I hope this video helps in getting you started with things you can buy to start eating healthier. And, um, and expect more videos. And this video is going to be in a playlist called Weight Loss Motivational Videos. So anything that's a, like a regular video, basically pre-recorded, where I'm not live, and you, this is the background you usually see when I say a regular video. Any video that I have to, I do to do with weight loss, I will put in that playlist. So you might want to check that playlist. Maybe you've missed a video. Maybe you know i put a new video video out that you didn't catch so anyway there's more to come on this subject so i hope y'all are all having a fabulous yarny day be the light and bye